it's me, Tracy, and today we will be playing the demo for Love Ghosty. We will be a matchmaker from beyond the grave. A ghost pulling the strings from behind the veil. We'll see lots of fun characters like, oh, e. and we will look like D. Come on, <laughs> let's get started. Look at us peeping into those people's homes. In this animal world, no one has curtains and it's to our benefit. This is an alpha demo, so things are subject to change. Currently playable with either controller or keyboard. Oh, I got it, I'm ready to enjoy that demo. Hey, are you awake? Oh, oh, ghosts have hair. Ha ha ha, just kidding, you're dead. <laughs> Sorry, that was not necessarily creepy. But the good news is you're a ghost. That's good news. Wait, I died? How did I die? Tell me how it happened. Yeah, it's a lot to take in. I'll give you some time to process it. Okay, well, now that we're over it, let me introduce myself. I'm Ghostina. Your Oh, I thought it said mother. That was creepy. I And I'm your mentor for the afterlife. Guess what we do in the afterlife? Matchmaking. Contrary to popular belief, we don't just scare people. Even though that can be pretty fun. We love watching. Romances bloom making people happy. Fun fact, did you know ghost-driven romances are 20 times more successful than dating apps? We just don't get credit for it because we're dead. I died? Still not over it, huh? Anyway, welcome to the manor. Oh, oh, what? Wait, <laughs> that place was not like the cute picture in the in the menu screen. Where is everybody? I turned them all into ghosts. Just kidding. Anyways, no one lives here. Don't worry, that'll change soon. I put up a sign that says free rent in this definitely not haunted house out in front. Now before people move in, Let's begin your training. Are you ready to meet your first resident? Oh, I wonder who it's gonna be. Okay, I think it's that goth giraffe. Oh dear Lord. If you look closely, it's actually a fake one that I set up to practice with. Oh, thank goodness. I drew all of this myself. It looks so great. She's kind of scary, so I don't wanna make her mad. Thanks. I was worried it was almost too good, you know? Anyway, residents live their lives and have no idea you're here, but you can still make a difference. First, we need items. Meet me in the attic. Ooh, look at me. Oh, okay, I'm zooming out. I'm going upstairs. A chore list? This is hell. Oh my gosh. I can barely contain my excitement. Oh, there's some food in here. I hope we don't get ourselves into a hairy situation. Is that a race car bed? That's pretty sick. Okay, let's go upstairs in the attic and meet Ghostina. You know how you mysteriously lose a sock in the laundry? That was probably a ghost. We like taking stuff. When you see something you like, you can take it. But it costs you an arbitrary ghost action point. Don't ask why. Okay. <laughs> Actions in the afterlife cost points. Listen, who's been a ghost for longer? Do you know how ghosts work? We have action points. It's a ghost thing. Maybe when you were alive, you had to sleep, but when you're a ghost, you have action points. 
Anyway, try grabbing this apple on the ground now. Apples shouldn't be on the ground anyways. Time to steal. Steal it! Steal it! Where did it go? Nice. Now that we have an item, there are a couple of things we can do. One option is to sell it on the ghost internet. See that computer? Oh my gosh, this is real. <laughs> is this real? See that computer over there? Do we have internet set up? From there, you can sell items for ghost money, and you can also buy nicer items that you can't find in the manor. Feel free to take a look. Whenever you're ready, pick a resident and go to their room for your next lesson. I'll meet you there. Oh, we can sprint. Oh, I'm fast. I'm super, the speed. Let's look at the laptop. Eep, bay. Okay, record players, trophies. How do I, let's go ahead and sell our apple. And we can buy, wait, how much money do I have? Oh, I have three, I have three coins. I can't really get anything now. I will have to check it out later. Speak with Ghostina in a residence room. Mmm, I don't know. I, this one looks happy. This one, I don't know if it's a mouth or a nose and that confuses me and makes me uncomfortable. I don't trust birds. I think one of my worst fears is seeing a bird without its beak. The bear, mm, is that an Audi? I let's go to the cat. Hello. Oh, you picked a purse. <laughs> Sorry. You picked person? Good choice. Okay, now we just need that. You sold that apple? Well, guess we all have to continue with this. Yeah, training apple. It's a training apple I keep for emergencies. I'm sure you know what else ghosts can do with apples. Haunt them? If we could possess an apple. What? How would that even work? You'd possess it. You would enter the apple and then become the apple and haunt people with it. Poltergeist it, make it float around. Hit someone in the head with yourself. Do apples feel fear? Anyways, we can give things to residents. But we can't just say this gift was from a ghost in your house that you can't see but is actively watching you right now. Trust me, I did that. Worst 30 years ever. I really thought I'd win them over. So when you leave a gift, say it's from someone else in the house. Gifting requires action points, but you'll be able to make pairs of residents closer with your gifts. Okay, try gifting the apple in this spot and pick which resident you want to gift it from. Okay, well, I guess I'll put the, put the training apple here. Oh, I love these names. I think that I'm gonna pair person and bearson. Yeah, I hope that this naming convention remains throughout the entire game. Yes. It was from Bearson, for sure. Aw, they're a cute couple. Look at you. I guess you're a supernatural. I am supernatural. What? Where's the one where I'm impressed? I'm gonna be so impressed that I, I'm silent. Huh. I guess your sense of humor didn't make it to the afterlife. I did. I get it, Gosina. You're hilarious. Now remember, residents all have different things they like. The better the gift, the better the effect on their relationships. All right, looks like you have two actions left for the day. Let me show you what else you can do. Oh, time to go to the chore board. Thankfully, every resident who ends up living here agrees to work together to make the house better. They put up this handy chore board here. Actually, I put it up. It's not like I can tell them that. She can write and like... Okay, so we can, we're can we ghosts that can manipulate the objects around us. We can make chore boards. Wait, is this some kind of purgatory? What's the end goal? None of them wondered where it came from. 
Uh, yeah, why would you make them? Yes, why? Do you want to do them instead? Besides, it's good for them. You'll see. From here, you can assign residents to chores to do at the end of the day. Let's try it out. Okay, chores, huh? Every day, there are three types of chores. Dates, self-care, and house helper. Each of these cost ghost action points, so only assign the ones you want. Plus, some residents will like certain chores more than others. Select a slot on a chore to learn more about it and assign a resident. Definitely not a date. Coffee shop visit. <gasps> yes. Harrison. Yes. Person. Yeah. Nice. You can assign other... Oh. Nice. You can assign another chore, or if you're ready to move on, finalize your assignments with the assign button. Read a book. Ooh. I would prefer if Burbson kept his beak in a book. Change a broken light bulb. Bro oh, I don't have any more ghost action points. Okay, let's see if, would Bunsen like this better? Well, they seem kind of the same about it. Okay, I'm all done. A sign, a sign. And that's how a typical day would go. You have a limited number of ghost action points per day, so keep that in mind when deciding what to do. As residents care more for each other, you'll be able to watch their relationships grow. With enough love, there'll be a new development in their relationship that you can unlock and watch. And now, you've completed your training! Congrats! You are now a certified ghost! What does this mean? Listen, be proud. It's a very rough process. You had to die for, die for. Ooh, but here's your reward. Your very own ghost certificate. I'm just kidding. Look here, we got tons of resident applications during your training. As your real reward, you get to choose the first four residents you want to move in. Oh, <gasps> yes. Finally. Okay, okay, look at them. Oh man, we got ooh. We got B. <laughs> we got da. <laughs> we got O. Oh. We got no. Wow. Let's see. What are their reasons for moving? Need my own space. I can live just fine on my own. Her eyes are filled with determination. Had my heart broken. Everything reminds me of her. So here I am. I've always lived on my own because honestly, you're your own best roommate, but I should- She's definitely in. Wait, who are you? Oh my god! Wait, this one! She's given, she's given a little choo! A little whoa! A little scat! Oh my gosh, cute! I- Oh, I wish that they could move in. I wish they could move in, but I think we have to choose from here. Okay, I want to ex- Ooh! Oh my gosh! I want to experience what it's like to live as a peasant. Question. Will this all be mine or will I have roommates? Okay, I think that we're gonna get a little- Oh! Need to get out of my hometown. It's so boring. I like her a lot too. There's something about Gerard. He seems kind of like fun just to add into the mix, you know? Um, but Allen is coming for sure. I think, okay, this one, Calathea is definitely gonna be joining us. She seems to have a great attitude and she's got a cute outfit. And um, I really, I really love her foliage. And I think Noir, because we get to talk like, this for noir. Maybe we should do Gerard. Let's do it. Let's do Mina. Gerard. K. 
Calathea. And all in Olin. Okay, let's go. Well, we all have ghost stuff to do, so I'm gonna leave you here to do what you want in the manor. All four residents will be moving in tomorrow, so try your best. I'll check in on you after three days. Welcome to your afterlife. See you later. Day one. A resident is arrived. Oh my gosh, I know who it is. It's O. E. Wow, look. Oh my goodness, it's his carriage. It's not even his crown, it's the crown on his carriage. He's so regal. Oh my goodness. <gasps> it's all in. Oh no, oh jeez. Hey guys. It's Gerard. What's he doing? Oh <gasps> no, Gerard. Oh my goodness. This is a rental. Oh, a new- Oh my gosh, wait, how big is she? No, she's tiny. Look how small she is! Oh my gosh, Mina! Welcome, Mina! Oh my gosh. Oh, she has a step stool with her. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And then she looks like a calico cat. Those those are very lucky. Oh, <gasps> Calathea. Oh, she's nervous. Don't worry, we'll find you a nice spot in the manor. Yep, lots of sunshine so that she can be happy. It's Calathea! Sweet, time to mess up their lives. <laughs> hey, Mina. Hi, Alan. Look at this. Okay, I will take this basketball with eyes. Yes, I must. Wait, is this a diary? <gasps> I'm gonna use all my action points. Dear diary, I've come to establish a new kingdom. This may be no frog kingdom, but it's certainly a, a house. Hello, Alan. Do you like basketballs or cheese? This is so great. I really like invading their privacy in an inconsequential way. Inconsequential for now. Dear diary, my heart feels used, and I'm not sure if I'll ever get over her. But I think it's about time I start with something brand new. So moody. <gasps> Calathea! Dear diary. Dear diary, I like this place. Even though it's always dark and spooky, I feel like the sunshine here is delicious. That's cool. Um, are these your children? What's the deal with that? Mina! Let's read your diary. Can't wait to invade your privacy. Dear diary, I think I'm all settled in. I got frustrated with painting the walls, but don't worry, I did it all on my own. She seems cool. I can steal cheese, an old, ooh, a hat? So many options. Ghosty forums, tips and tricks. Gifting? Ooh, how do I know if a gift is good? Are there bad gifts? Every gift boosts happiness and romance, but if they really like it, you're gonna see tons of heart emojis flying out of them real fast. Who doesn't like gifts? Ooh, yeah, if someone left a skeleton in my room, I'd hesitate a little. What else is there? How do I know who I wanna match make? Help, I sold my apple during training! <laughs> I got an apple during training, but I sold it by accident. Help, I didn't think I'd get in trouble. It's my first day. Don't worry, they have backups. I didn't know you could sell it. I thought we were supposed to keep it. I sold mine and got money for it. Yeah, I did too. That's what I did. And I think, what if... What if I didn't spend any time matchmaking at all and I just spent my time stealing? Look how much joy it brings me. Look, look. So happy. It's already the end of a long day. 
What do I do now? Ooh, I'm gonna steal that tomorrow. So much to steal, so much to steal, so much to steal, so much to steal, so much to steal. I can't steal anymore. How do I go? Oh, I have to press three for the calendar. Yes, it's time to end the day. Ooh. Day two. Another day. Uh, oh my gosh, there's more stuff to steal. Oh no. Oh no. Tomorrow, we're gonna start matchmaking tomorrow. For sure. We will definitely begin tomorrow. Anything new in their diaries? Dear diary, yesterday someone asked me if my crown is between my eyes. I honestly don't know. Oh, that's unsettling to think about. Dear diary, today I played soccer and got a yellow card. Life is so unfair. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think I can read her diary. Maybe no new entries. What's this? Oh, it's a triangle. Another day, another day done. Oh no. I have a problem. I'm supposed to be matchmaking them, but look, a musical instrument. It's a wood block. Is that a treasure chest? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's gonna sell really well. <gasps> oh, time to sell on Eep Bay. I'm gonna be an entrepreneur. Oh my gosh, it sells for how much? What, the abstract painting sells for 11? <gasps> okay, okay, let's sell it. Sell, sell, sell. Oh my gosh, we're so rich! We're gonna be richer than the frog. Yes! What is there to buy? <gasps> a pickle in a cage and I can afford it! Yes, yes, buy it. And a mirror and a trophy. Yes, I'll order these things. Yes, it's very important that I have them. <gasps> Does anyone else hoard items like I do? No, I sell them. Yes, I sell my items for money. You can always find the same item later if you really need it. Okay, that's reassuring. Whew, that's good. Oh man, all right, time for... Another day over. Oh, look, a ghost mail! Ghost mail! So, how did your first three days go? Let's see! Oh, well, I guess that's pretty good for a first timer. This is the first time you've been dead, right? How many times have you died? Just once so far. Either way, you tried your best. Well, I guess things could have gone better. The real reward here is your kindness helped bl oh, blossom love in a happier home. Just kidding. Haha, <laughs> we have a store. The more you develop resident relationships and the more resident happiness you bring, the more relationships you'll get. Okay. New kind of currency, that's what I'm talking about. Ghosts love to collect and spend these, and you can unlock lots of cool stuff with them. Looking for that special date or can't find the perfect gift? Unlock some new ones at my store. Oh, she's a business lady too. The possibilities are endless until we run out of things in my store. But even then, you can match make any pair of shoes you want. Residents you want. And every resident has a completely different story based on who they've developed a relationship with. Now go out there and see what kind of world you can make. 
Nah, I'll be here if you want to buy anything. Yes. Let's see how you did. I didn't know we were going to be graded. Oh, hey, something kind of happened. Okay. Okay, so I need some relationships. In order to unlock these different parts of this tree. Amateur ghosty. <gasps> you get another action point. That means more stealing. Eat mail? A mini game that earns more coins? That means more money. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, now we have a reason to actually get some of these relationships going. Yes, I don't have any relationships right now. All right, now it's time to move on to the next phase. Super death. You're gonna die again, and you'll have a super afterlife. Just kidding. You're going back to the manor to develop more relationships. Turns out the other ghosties really like the romances you're building and want to see more. Plus, I'll come visit with my shop in another three days. So for the good romance, the good of joy in the world, and most importantly, the good of my merchandise shop. Get out there and make some more romances bloom. Dang, we've already been here for four days. Oh, check the mailbox! My order is here! Yes! Oh, my special items! I got a pickle in a cage. Good, I ordered that. The gold mirror, yes. And the trophy! Best! Let's, uh... Don't steal, don't steal. Let's assign chores. Let's have someone do some relaxing with a coloring book. I think Mina would like that. Do laundry? Well, that icon looks like a frog head. So let's give it to, let's give it to Alin. Yeah, let's assign those chores. You're doing great. I wanna give them positive affirmations. You are enough! I like you when you're happy and when you're mad and when you're sad. You can feel your full spectrum of emo- He doesn't even know I'm here. Let's read his diary. Dear diary, I'm trying a new eyeliner today, but I'm worried that it's too bold. There will be quite the fallout. Boy, I'm nervous! Fallout boy. Ha 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 ha. Listen, he's jamming. I bet he's listening to some Fallout boy. Oh, they're talking! Oh, they just visited each other. Do you think maybe. Oh, let's read. Dear Diary, I can't help it if everything I do and like is adorable. I like what I like. She's super adorable. Hmm, let's try to really work hard to make a match. Okay, I think that he really needs to just put himself out there a little bit more. Let's give him a gift. Get his mind somewhere. Oh, do you think he'd like a pickle? Pickle's too precious! Okay, sorry. <laughs> I bet he likes coffee! I bet you he likes coffee. Let's try. Oh, they're talking. Oh, Alan's talking about the dress that I saw on Eat Bay. That could be something. Maybe I should get him that dress. Oh, he also likes a picture of corn wearing a top hat, sitting on a pile of money, and a silver fork with a little heart on the end of it. Yes, I hope I don't ever get between them. <laughs> I'm so mischievous. I don't know what kind of gifts he will like, but I think that he's gonna like coffee. And I'm gonna say it's from all in. There you go. Open it. <gasps> he loves it. He loves it. He loves it. See? He really liked it because he had all of the hearts and emojis coming out of his head. 
Oh, I cannot wait. Let's see. Does he have a new entry? Oh, darn it. Okay, we have no more actions left. So let's sleep until tomorrow. <gasps> okay. Mina's a little happier. Alwyn's relationships with all other residents slightly increased. Yeah, to Gerard from Alwyn. Coffee. Day five. Ooh. Cause I love to steal. I'm half the man I used to be. I can't stop stealing. I can't stop. Just, I want to build my empire. <laughs> Gotta build my empire. I wonder who likes juice. I feel like maybe Noir would like it. Oh, look at that pumpkin. It's beautiful. <gasps> Let's give it to him. Uh, can we give it or are we out of points? Yeah, we're already out of points. I will... I don't know if I'll... Um, I think I'm always going to be a stealing ghost. Day six of stealing. <gasps> this... Oh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take the fork. And um, Alan was talking about this fork. We're going to give it to him. Oh, I could sell it on eBay for eight coins. Mm. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to give. Look. Okay, he's definitely going to have like super hearts. And emotes. <gasps> yes. Yes, and the emotes. Yes, the hearts and the emotes. Good. Good. Discovered Alan loves complex things. Mmm, that's great. I think this item is pretty complicated. It makes me feel <laughs> complex things. Oh yes, they're talking again. You have a new relationship. Talk to view. How do I do it? Here we go. Gerard, I have great news for you. What is it? I've seen how you act around everyone. You know, with your whole... Aesthetic. <laughs> and I realized... Maybe you've just never had the opportunities I've had to learn about the finer points of fashion and decorum. I understand fashion just fine. And that's why you'll be the perfect apprentice! Excuse me? There's no time to waste. I'll stick to my black shirt over black pants with my black eyeliner. First, we need to get you some colors. I'm thinking neon and a cape. Yes, capes are all the fashion in the Frog Kingdom. Uh, I can't wait for Gerard's cape. Soup? Okay, let's do one more gift before we go to bed for the night. Maybe check out the chores. <gasps> go to the beach? Okay, no, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use it to send them to the beach. Yes, go to the beach together. <gasps> I did it. So mischievous. Hmm, you thought this was a spork gift from Gerard, but it is I meddling in your life. <laughs> Enjoy being sad while you can, Gerard. You're about to meet your life partner. <laughs> Let's sleep. End of the day. Wait, who who's saying that? Psst. Oh, good news! I got you some tickets to watch today's Totally Not a Date. We ghosties like to watch residents go on these. They can be full of fun, cute romance or full of awkwardness. Some residents might even have super special reactions to dates that speak particularly to them. Based on how well the dates go, the greater the impact on their relationship. Let's see how you did for your first totally not a date assignment. See you tonight for the premiere. Ah, oh, let's go. Watch the date.
Oh my goodness, it's in a movie theater. Oh, I get to sit next to Ghost Tina. Oh, <gasps> ah, the sun is perfect. So, it's the ocean. My favorite part is the sand. I don't like sand. I love it. Gets everywhere. He's smiling. Two weeks after, I find little reminders. Of the beach? Of us. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? Bringing home a pocket of sand. I want a reminder of us too. <gasps> it's cute. It's our plan is working. The date was good. And the relationship increased somewhat. Oh <gasps> my goodness. Yes. Oh, Gerard likes noisy things. So I bet Gerard would like some of the instruments that we got. Yes. <gasps> oh, let's see how you did. Oh yeah, Alan got a little happier. Mina got a little happier. And Alan and Gerard had an improved relationship. So we got some relationships. We can unlock some stuff. I think I'll unlock the, I'm gonna unlock the mini game. That's all I can afford. <laughs> okay, yeah. Day seven. Check the laptop for email access. Yay, you have an email account now. You can write emails to fish, I mean fish, for more ghost monies. The better you scam, the better the payout? What? Oh, what, what? Don't worry, hee hee, we're only scamming other ghosts. They have all the time in the what? What? <gasps> it's time to write your first email. You get an email prompt and you have to fill it in the words. Each word has a symbol. Each word has symbols associated with it. And the more symbols that match, the more your email will make sense, which means more money. Some words have multiple symbols, which means they can match with any of those. Good luck out there and happy fishing! I don't want to do it. I don't want to send it. I don't want to do it. I don't want it. Alright, I couldn't escape. We have to... We have... I... Okay. Problem? Give me... Weaknesses! Hello, good news. I have an exciting problem and need you to give me all your weaknesses. Please respond and pay ASAP before it's too late. Ooh! <laughs> we, we got a response. Read it and collect your money. Oh no! Take this! <gasps> no, we scammed ghosties in. Oh no. Oh, I can't. Oh no, now that I've started scamming, I can't stop. Oh, <gasps> hello. This is your long lost, fully grown child. And I am contacting you now because I forgot about you, lol. And more importantly, need all the monies. Send me money? Okay, I sent all my personal data and passwords to just in case. Oh no, this is the worst. What's wrong with me? Hello, I am a ghost and I need your help with charity to help your butt. <gasps> OMG, take this money, okay. Wow, I did one more email. Hi, this is to confirm your appointment for your crimes, please respond and send money ASAP so we can destroy it. Oh, don't take this. Yeah, we got more money. Okay, we don't have any more money. We can't do any more emails. 
It's time for us to sleep. Ooh, celery. <gasps> Ear diary. Gerard gifted me a spork. I love it. It's perfect. I need a thousand more of these for everybody back home. Oh, he put the coffee on his shelf. Dear diary, I finally get it. The way I felt with Allen after yesterday. That's the kind of person I could let myself get heartbroken for. <clears throat> oh my gosh! Look, I'm here to play a demo of a game. I'm not here to cry. <laughs> so Gerard is the type of draft that has really big feelings and isn't afraid to express them, whether they're good feelings, sad feelings, heartbroken feelings, or loving feelings. I ended up uh, liking Gerard a lot more than I thought I would. Day eight. Jeez. Oh, anything about Gerard? Dear diary, the best part about being a prince is when I make a mistake, not that I do. I can say I screwed up royally. It's funny. <gasps> Another uh, woodblock. <laughs> Let's see if we have some gifts. What do we have? Fashionable, fancy. Oh, this is unusual and complex. And I know that Olin really likes complex items. Do we have anything noisy? Hmm, we have musical and creative. But Gerard likes noisy. I'm gonna give Olin the pickle in a cage from oh, someone else. No, no. We cannot create a love triangle. Unless... Oh! It's from Galapia! Yeah. No, I was joking! I can't do it! I can't do it! It's from Gerard! It's from Gerard! Oh my gosh. Oh no, we... What a tangle. Web we weave! He loves it. He loves it. He loves it. Oh no. Oh, he also likes unusual things. Yeah, it's a really good gift. We gave a really, really good gift. Maybe we have something that Gerard would like. I think maybe the pumpkin is cool. And it's lit. Let's try it. <gasps> a new relationship. Fuck. Gerard, I don't see you in your neon cape that I got you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't. Oh, whoops. Don't you? What? Okay, I am breaking them up. They have only been on one date. <clears throat> what? What? Oh, jeez. Oh. <gasps> All in. No need to thank me. Seeing you in these clothes is rewarded. I do not want to scream. I am extra handsome. Why? Who wouldn't want that? That's so ridiculous. Everyone. Anyone. We're not all royal frogs who have no sense of personality or emotion or... or... I just think... I don't care what any of you think. But that's the whole point of fashion. People do think about... Alwyn, if you put any thought into your actions, you'd know how thoughtless this was of you. Wait. If I put more thought into being less thoughtless? What is he even saying? Oh no. Oh my goodness. You've unlocked a second relationship talk for this couple. This is the max relationship level you can reach per couple in this demo. So keep that in mind going forward. You will be able to max their relationship level in the full game. Oh. Well, that means that we could create more relationships between more people who live in the manor. With Mina, Kalia, 
and between these individuals and Gerard and Allen, but that's gonna be our video for today. I hope that you enjoyed watching this demo of Love Ghosty. I had a super fun time and I really can't wait for it to come out because I feel like I will <laughs> be doing a lot of peeping, a lot of diary reading, and I love the cute characters. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are working towards getting a thousand subs our first thousand subscribers so i'd be really ooh. whoa i'm at oh dang i'm leaving bye bye everyone bye bye